The exhibition came about because I am teaching a surrealism seminar this term in the art history department. And so in the Stanier Gallery, this is a gallery on campus that is a teaching gallery. So usually whatever artists are involved, usually contemporary artists, are brought in because they tie in with one of the classes that's in the art or art history department. Because he had had this time with Dali, it just seemed perfect that he could meet with my surrealism class, meet with my 20th century European art class, and uh, you know, bring a real legitimate surrealism into the gallery right when I was uh, teaching students about it. I met Lewis around 2007, I want to say. And uh, actually it was through an online group called the Collect Dolly Group. It's a Yahoo group that is a, a group of people who collect Dolly books. He was on there and as, as just sort of a, uh, a person who was interested in Dolly and, and he wrote in saying that he had worked with Dolly and of course people were excited to hear that and so exchanged back and forth. I didn't advertise heavily that I was a protege to Dolly. I didn't say anything to anybody for 30 years, you know because I didn't have reasons to really. I wasn't work, working on art. If, if I found people or spoke to people that were interested in Dali, I might tell them about the work that I had done with him. But um, it was largely um, an unknown quantity. When he came to campus, we thought it might be interesting to pair him with the IQ Center because I knew that they had stereoscopic equipment in there, I'd seen some 3D films and such, and so I really just thought perhaps this would be something that he might be able to use in his work. I wasn't really sure how, but I thought it might be fruitful. Um, they had the idea to try to uh, like cross-pollinate another department into art. Because my art um, used three-dimensional forms heavily, they knew that I knew something about that, and that uh, Dave Pfaff over in the IQ Center um, worked in 3D. They asked if I could do something with him. Uh, this was a true collaboration in the sense that um, when, when Lewis first visited, we really didn't know what, what we were going to do. And uh, he was familiar with stereo imagery and um, went back to his, his studio and started generating uh, stereo content for me to view. He had no way of viewing it on his own, so he would send me uh, some stereo pairs and I would look at them in the, in the IQ Center and try to communicate with him what, what worked about this and what didn't. And, uh, and it was through this collaboration that, that his ideas of doing this 3D uh, fractal imagery really came together. I think that there's so much to be said about art and technology, particularly contemporary artists who are working in lots of technologies beyond you know, just, uh, I mean, 3D is one way, but there are artists working in genetics, there's artists working in effectively every technology available, and we have so many intersections between art and science that the more we can make of them, the, uh, the more relevant our department will basically be to, uh, to contemporary art.